Oh, this is so sketchy. Look at that drop. I don't want to fall in there. Oh, shit. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back. I hope you're having a good day today. So, one of the boys, Max, that I met at the photo walk a few weeks ago, reached out to us today and actually said that his radar thing that he looks at or whatever shows that there's like a strong display of the southern lights, the Aurora Australis tonight. And apparently it's visible from like the southern parts of the Melbourne area, which is absolutely crazy to me because I didn't know that you could even like get close to seeing the southern lights from here. So tonight the plan is I'm going to pick him up uh, along the way down the Mornington Peninsula onto the bottom of the coast. Uh, we're gonna go down to Cape Shank, which is like a very southern point down there with a lighthouse and stuff And apparently it's nice and dark down there as well Which is obviously what you need to see the lights and the stars and then we're gonna get some hopefully some bangers down there And some time lapses or whatever and you know just some sick shots of the southern lights And if not then at least I'll get to see them hopefully 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 because I haven't actually checked the weather forecast I mean the southern lights are there and the new moon which usually means like it's good to see the stars because there's not much light But I'm not sure if it's gonna be cloudy or not but I uh, fingers crossed because that would sort of ruin it but even so apparently you can still see the lights when there is like a little bit of cloud so some clouds might not even be too much of a problem the cold could be a problem though because it's gonna be like six degrees and that's pretty damn cold so I'm gonna have to prepare myself for that I'm leaving in about an hour to pick Max up from the station so that gives me some time to get myself ready prepare some appropriate clothing not just one hoodie I need to make sure not to forget anything either because I'm gonna need my tripod and all my lenses and I'm gonna get around to that and in the meantime Meantime, I'm just going to give you a uh, some sort of jump cut. So myself and uh, and Max over here have made the trip down to Cape Shank, and as you can tell by the sky around me, uh, the weather conditions didn't turn out ideal. I think, but it's still early. It's still only just uh, going on 6 p.m. Hopefully, it'll clear up a little bit later once we get uh, nightfall and you know the aurora is supposed to come out. Either way, we're getting some pretty cool shots. Just just in the area here. It's actually a really sick spot and neither of us have ever been here so we're making the most of that just getting some cool shots you know the waves looking sick and there's heaps of reflections in the water and there's this hill rock thing behind me. So I think until it clears up and until it gets a little bit darker we can start hopefully getting some photos of the night sky. I'm just gonna keep taking some photos around here get some b-roll that sort of stuff and uh, see how we go. We're gonna hold on and just fingers crossed that it'll get a little bit better later on. quick <laughs> Whew. not bad hey. not bad can I be in your vlog bro yeah you get a shout out at at maximal focus yeah that's right <laughs> second account yeah it actually got deactivated really just within a few hours I don't know why it's for uh, landscape photography and stuff so I shared some pictures from Tasmania and it got deactivated <laughs> I'm so f***ing pissed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, stand here. Coming down, taking a photo from down the bottom. Oh, this is so sketchy. This is so sketchy. Look at that drop. <laughs> I don't want to fall in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know what the audio is like here because it's quite windy, but holy shit, that was... That was scary. Going up is one thing because you're, you're sort of taking it slow, but then going down, oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's get some photos. Oh, these waves, insane. I see, this point doesn't do any justice at all on the camera. The only thing is, walking on this is sketchy as. This is like all fenced off as well. I don't think you're supposed to come up here. There's paths, but they look like they've been closed for a fair few years now. But I mean, it's worth it, isn't it? Just to get up here for this view. I mean, honestly, it probably doesn't even look that, like it doesn't look that high in the video probably. But let me tell you, in like being here, standing on this cliff, it feels pretty f***ing high. <laughs> oh shit. Only thing is, I, I don't know how I've never come here before. It's like an hour and a half drive from my house and I've lived here for 
18 years now and I've never come here. This is amazing. This is so new to me. I can tell that the Nikon's really struggling right now in the low light. There's no way I'm going down there. <laughs> I'm struggling enough to stay on my feet on this path as it is. And Max is climbing down. We've got the head torches on because it's gotten so dark. Uh, we'll give it a shot. Okay, so not even 25,600 ISO is enough right now. So I'm gonna have to shine myself in the face with this torch. It is pretty much completely black right now. We've just climbed down that absolutely ridiculously sketchy looking like rocky stairway <laughs> it's just like a couple of little outcrops of rock and now uh, we've got the torches on because it's so dark i've come down to a second beach to try and take some photos of that big rock thing in front of me hopefully some long exposures maybe i, I can actually not even look at the camera right now i'm sorry long story short the the southern lights sort of flopped it was just way too cloudy we we didn't even see a real sunset to be honest so just not our night i mean everything was perfect all the conditions were there except for except for the clouds which is just really unfortunate but what can you do? We're gonna make the most of it anyway. Hopefully get some cool shots. So let's see how we go. What have you shot so far? Oh, that's a sick shot. Yeah, man. That's very cool. Okay, so we were down there for a bit, taking some long exposures and stuff. And uh, Max's light. I don't know if that's visible at all still down there. That tiny little dot, that's Max down at the beach. And basically, because the high tide's coming in, the way that we went up, which is this really dodgy, rocky part, I don't even, you can't even see that probably. That started to like, not flood, but like the bottom is getting really wet and I was worried that we just weren't gonna be able to get back up. So I was like, I'm gonna go over and check and just make sure we can even get back because it's the only way up. And um, I ran over and I yelled to Max and I don't know if he heard me or not, but I'm trying to wave and signal to him but it looks like he's on his way back now. Honestly, that was so sketch. I think we got some cool photos though, so. Have a look when we get back, but holy shit, this was sketchy as. All right, okay, back at home now, obviously. We've had some time to recover from the, uh, the absolute cold, dark, sketchy, dangerous cliff that that was. Even though, obviously, we didn't achieve what we set out to do at all because of the clouds, um, it was definitely still a good photo shoot because we got some awesome photos. We got, I got one of Max, like, sitting on a rock with the, the pool of, like, the rock pool, and the reflection in that looks pretty sick, I reckon. Then I also got one with Max and his red headlight, just like the, the head torch, sorry, just as he was climbing down the, just as he was climbing down that like rocky steppy sort of thing that we use to climb down onto the beach. That also looks kind of cool, but I don't know how I'm gonna edit that yet because it's a bit, um, I don't know, it's like too underexposed. If I bring it up too much, it's just grainy. So I don't know, it's tricky, but I think it has potential. And then my absolute favorite one is this one that I got right here of Max standing on top of the big hill mound thing with just the big sky with all the clouds and then like the crazy waves and water and stuff on either side of him underneath it just i reckon that looks sick i'm just biased as well obviously because it's my photo but happy with that one definitely so as i said even though it wasn't what we set out to do at all because the southern lights you know we did see like a little tiny shimmer of green between the clouds and the horizon but it was like the faintest thing ever and i could barely see it with my own eyes and then by that point, you know, by the time I'd set it up, it was already gone, so. A bit disappointing, but we did make up for it with the good shots that we did get, so. Still a win in my books, and I'm still happy with how it went. I'm still glad I went down there as well, because it was cool to experience something new that I've never seen before, and just experience a new place. If you want to check out any of these photos, if I do upload them, and when I do upload them, be sure to check out my Instagram right here. And other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you did. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one.